Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Andrew Missick, and welcome to this episode of Voice of the Word. And today we are going to look at Maramatai Monastery. Jesus was an Aramaic-speaking teacher of the Middle East, and the Assyrians are Aramaic-speaking Christians in the Middle East who have endured persecution for over a thousand years. Join Voice of the Word Aramaic Bible teacher, artist, and author, Dr. Stephen Andrew Missick, as he examines the Bible through the ancient languages, people, lands, cultures, and times in which it was first revealed. Research the scriptures, rescue persecuted Christians, and explore the Semitic roots of Christianity. And now, Voice of the Word. And this is in the region of Mesopotamia in northern Iraq. And I recently went back to visit Iraq. I've been there twice for the war. And this is my second visit uh, to visit the Assyrian Christian community there. And while I was there, I was able to visit Rabban Hormuz Monastery, which is historically as a monastery of the Assyrian Church of the East. Now it's governed by the Chaldean uh, Church, which is a, uh, uh, it's a Unite Church, which means the Chaldean Catholic Church, the Chaldean Church of the East, uh, broke off from the Assyrian Church and united with Rome. So it's a sister church of the Assyrian Church of the East. Uh, so the other monastery that I went to is Marmatai, or that's St. Matthew Monastery. And uh, this is a monastery that belonged to the, still belongs to the Assyrian Orthodox Church. So uh, I had a very good reception. I was able to meet, uh, when I went to Erbil, I was able to meet my friend Mar Awa, the patriarch of the Assyrian Church of the East. And uh, I was able to have a good visit at Rabban Hormuz. But then I went to Marmatai Monastery because uh, these are two, uh, I guess, kind of rival monasteries, but very historically important because there's a lot of division, unfortunately, uh, in the Aramaic Christian churches between uh, the Church of the East and the Syrian Orthodox Church. Uh, but now, hopefully, there, there's more friendly, friendly relations than they used to be. Uh, but the main monastery of the Assyrian Church of the East was the Rabban Hormuz Monastery, while well, the important monastery uh, to the Assyrian, Assyrian Orthodox community uh, is uh, Marmatai Monastery. And it was very interesting. I enjoyed my visit there. I'm just going to give a very brief introduction to it and show some pictures uh, in a further program, we're going to go into more details about the history of of this monastery. But both these monasteries are ancient and and important and are important centers of uh, Syriac Christianity. It's interesting going up on Marmata. Have they had this uh, this large mural uh, mural a painting uh, showing uh, persecution? <laughs> and attacks uh, of this monastery that they've endured for centuries and yet to this day uh, is still standing as a vibrant uh, Christian community. So uh, we need to pray for uh, the Christian communities in the Middle East, uh, especially in, in northern Iraq. Uh, they went through this, this terrible trial uh, against ISIS, and ISIS was defeated. Uh, but now other uh, trials and tribulations seem to be ahead of us, but we know that we're going to have final victory and overcome through the power in the name of Jesus Christ. And I also want to thank my friend Mofouk. Uh, Mofouk served in the, the Assyrian militias, and uh, he's done a lot of work supporting uh, the Christian community over there, but he also uh, served in the militias fighting against uh, against ISIS. Uh, so he's a warrior for his own people. Uh, so I want to say a word of, of thanks to him. And on the next program, we'll go into more details about uh, this monastery, what it is and how important it is. So, like I said, I had a very friendly reception uh, there, and is is amazing to see this this ancient mon monastery, which uh, plays has played an important role uh, in the history of the Aramaic speaking Christians in northern Iraq, and has continued to do so uh, so until this very day. So, thank you, and, and God bless you. Research, rescue, and restore. Help Voice of the Word and Aramaic Christian Ministries Mission research the ancient languages, peoples, lands, cultures, and times of the Bible. Rescue persecuted Assyrian Christians in the Middle East and restore Christianity to its original Semitic roots. 
For Stephen Missick's books, online giving, and other resources from Aramaic Christian Ministries, visit www.stephenmissick.com. Join us next time on Voice of the Word as we research the scriptures, rescue persecuted Christians, and restore the church to its Semitic roots.